What? Daytime already? It took me all night to get through that forest? I should drop some of this gear off. It's getting too heavy. Right. Now I need to stop Kyle and protect Mary. Where could they be? Did you hear the news? About Daniel Coe? No. Somebody set fire to the newspaper office and Horace Gersten is missing. Oh, this is really getting out of hand. People are saying he was onto some big story. Something to do with the murdered judge. That maybe Daniel Cole didn't kill him. Can you believe it? I've heard you've been going into the woods. Uh, yes. I just returned from the Pa residence. Alone? I hope you realize how dangerous that is, especially now. Yes, of course. Why are the children not in school? I really need to talk to Mary Brown. It's the weekend. But I do think I saw her in the playground earlier. Yes, she was here. But she left with Kyle Brody a few hours ago. I wonder if Kyle's feeling better. She is such a good soul. She prays with my husband almost every day. If anyone can help Kyle in this strange time, it's that little girl. It's very important that I speak with Mary. Do you have any idea where they went? Oh, they could be anywhere by now. You know kids. Horace Gaston, the newspaper editor, is missing, and his office has been burnt to the ground. Did he find evidence of Cole's innocence? If that's the case, the killer is still at large. Hmm. Mrs. Ascott claims Kyle left with Mary four hours ago. How could he possibly have gotten all the way from Rust and Pa's house to the school so quickly? What on earth am I up against? If Kyle takes Mary into the forest before I find them, Hekitemik's plan will be complete. I've got to find those two. Mary, thank God you're safe. Hello, Miss Holliday. We were just saying a prayer for poor Mr. Gersten. Care to join us? I can't just now. Have you seen Kyle Brody? Yes, we spoke to God together. He's in the back room now. Take care of Mary, Pastor Ascot. Oh, dear. Is something wrong? I'll be back shortly. Oh, dear. Is something wrong? Teddy bear with the insides ripped out, left by Kyle Brody on Coffin Rock. Kyle! Are you all right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. It's all right, Kyle. It's over now. It wasn't your fault. I, I couldn't stop it. I know. It was the witch, not you. I need you to be strong. I need your help. Can you help me? What was the witch making you do? I was telling people to do things. Like Rust and Pa. Yes. Do you know why the judge was killed? He heard Rustin's confession. The judge knew I was the one that told Rustin what to do. But then Mr. Gersten found out who killed the judge and had stuff to prove it. Why didn't he just tell the sheriff? He wanted to print the story in his newspaper first. Do you know where he is now, Kyle?
Yes, I was afraid of that. Now you said the judge was cute because he knew what you were doing. Why does that matter? The judge found out that I've been telling another person what to do too. Just like Rustin, he did everything I told him, no matter how bad it was. You've been telling Pastor Ascot to do things. He murdered Horace Gersten. And Mary is with him? Kyle, I want you to go right home. I don't want you to see any more bad things. Sure. Will Mary be okay? Yes, thanks to you. Pastor Ascot! Oh, not again. Pastor Ascot? <laughs> Heavens, dear, you startled me. Where are you going, Pastor? What's the shovel for? Hmm? Oh, this? <laughs> I found your little secret under the stairs. Mary, why don't you come here? Mary, you stay at my side. Miss Holliday, I'm doing the Lord's work. If you interfere, you're doing so on behalf of the devil. I'm going to stop the witch forever. No, you've got it the wrong way round. Come, Mary. This woman is an agent of Satan. Mary, are you all right? Uh-huh. Do you have any idea what the pastor was trying to do? Uh-huh. He wasn't himself. Kyle told him things to do, but it wasn't really Kyle. Pastor Ascot said God was talking to him. And how do you know that? I can see things. What sorts of things? Things that scare people. Um, I'm not supposed to say. Well, I'm not scared. You can tell me. I saw Ellie. She told me something. Ellie Kedward, the Blair Witch? What did she tell you, Mary? She said the forest was coming for me. I heard laughing. Then she told me I would be taken there. She said I wouldn't like it. Bad things would happen to me. Then I heard laughter again. I was very scared. You don't have to be scared anymore. The Blair Witch was using the pastor, but he won't hurt you now. It's not over. It comes for you too, Elspeth. The evil's after you now. It knows your name. Your real one. What do you mean? I can tell you three things. First, listen for the call and remember the warning that came in the night. Next, sometimes good things are ugly. Last, find the old woman whose mind was lost in the forest. The old woman? You mean Robin Weaver. But where? I've looked and can't find her house anywhere. Good God, you've killed Pastor Ascot. Wait, I can explain. I didn't kill him. What's going on out here? Oh, dear God. <laughs> what have you done to my husband? Oh, my head. Was I hallucinating? That couldn't have been real. I've retreated to the edge of the forest outside of town. I can't be certain if they were real, but I was surrounded by disembodied heads, like the legends of the faces of the forest. I've got to get back to town. I hope it's not too late to settle things with the sheriff.
Are you Robin Weaver? Why does this feel like a fairy tale? Perhaps because I'm about to be eaten by a witch that lives in the middle of the woods in a house made of candy. Hello? You're the woman I saw in the woods yesterday evening. Are you Robin Weaver? All right. Um, you have a very interesting home. The bottles hanging from the trees are melodic. I see. Um, is this a Civil War uniform? So, live in the woods long? They ward off evil spirits. Sorry? The bottles. Haunts are frightened by the music the wind plays on them. The uniform is from a man named Lazarus good man that helped this town and its children long ago. He knew well what evil resides in these woods. He came back once, could come back again. But you aren't here to chat. Nobody visits me for small talk. Why is that? I hear the voices. I put a page on the wall for you. Take the page from the wall. Yes, uh, which one? My name is on this page. How could... There's another Tawana here. Is this what I'm looking for? Is this what I need to defeat Akitamix? I hear the voices. You hear them too, don't you? I believe I do. Thank you, Miss Weaver. Go on. Save the small voices. Send the darkness away. Go on. Save the small voices. Send the darkness away. Better! Wait, I can explain. You've got it all wrong. That's enough. Back off. Who the hell are you? FBI. Dr. Holliday is an agent of the United States government. Back away. Now.
What the hell is this? We found it in her room. That's government property. I'd thank you to place it gently on the ground. You didn't say you were a Fed. Internal investigation. It doesn't concern you. Well, I don't give a good goddamn if you are FBI. You just attacked an unarmed man. But she was helping me. The pastor was confused. He was going to hurt me. Now, Mary, I don't know what kind of lies she's been feeding you, but I assure you she's up to no good. If you'll search the front of the church, you'll find Horace Gaston's body. Pastor Ascot is the real killer. What? No! That's not true! No! You've incarcerated the wrong man, Sheriff. Daniel Cole is innocent. You're out of line, lady. The pastor here is an upstanding citizen. Kyle Brody can answer all your questions. Kyle Brody? That boy hasn't said a word since he left Parr's house. It's true. She cured my boy. Whatever she did, Kyle's back to normal. He told me all about the pastor. Miss Holliday is telling the truth. She's not a killer, then? Maybe she's not so bad after all. She's a hero. No wonder she was I'm so curious still about not our sure history. I trust her. Just finish whatever business you have and get out of town. I don't ever want to see your face in Burkittsville again. What happened? How you doing, Pastor? Come on, we'll get you patched up and head to town hall for a few questions. Questions? Glad you showed up. Where'd you get that badge? Two bucks at any toy store. That and a loaded forty-five will take you places. Thanks. Stranger, it is good to see you. Are you okay? You look like hell. When was the last time you slept? I can't remember. I've lost track of time. It's easy to do in these woods, I assure you. Time doesn't work normally here. I... I changed my mind. Or something changed it for you. Dreams. About you. You don't say. Pleasant dreams, I suppose. You murdered the town. Then yourself. Yes, that nearly happened. I was, uh, hallucinating. I saw the townspeople transform into monsters. I almost shot them. I think I had the same dream. I'm convinced it was some sort of premonition. If I hadn't had that dream, I may well have killed everyone in town. Hmm. Unusual. Anyway, since you're here, how about lending a hand? Is there actually something here? Or is it just the overactive imagination of simple townsfolk? Oh, there's definitely something here. So what's the connection between the boy and the witch? It was no witch. There's a presence in the forest. A demon, most likely. I think all the stories about the Blair Witch stem from the same source. Rustin Parr was influenced by the demon who inhabited Kyle Brody. Hecitimix, through Kyle Brody, convinced the pastor that it was God's will that he sacrificed Mary Brown. Before this incident, I'm sure that the demon controlled others, probably all the way back to Ellie Kedward, probably even further. You're all right? Better now. Thanks, stranger. So where is this heck idol mix? Nearly there, but we can't just go barging in. Stranger? Oh, blast it. I hate it when you do that.
You have obtained the path of Hekaitomik's Dark Realm. Yes, from Robin Weaver. She gave me this Tawana. It could be the path leading to the void of Hekaitomix. Robin Weaver has uncommon vision and has been touched by Hekaitomix. It is possible that she learned the demon's true name. Return when you are ready.
Once the Kitamix is through, I must place the final Tawana. I just have to make sure the timing is perfect. I should set up the real world to honor as soon as I get to the other side, so it will be ready when I return with Bleeding Boy. I can't leave yet. I don't have the boy. I can't leave yet. I don't have the boy. Where are you? I need you here. Stranger! Come on. Go.
one last one. Timing must be perfect. This is for you. You're free now. Go to Telmakik where you belong. Where did you go before? Somewhere else. It was darker. I think I've been there. Hakitamix pulled me into a dark realm on more than one occasion. There was a gen. I killed it then returned here. How do you know about gens? Hmm. <laughs> Who doesn't know about gens? Stranger, did you put this pile of stones here? Do I really have to answer that? There's another Tawana here. It changes the name of this portal. That thing must have put an extra Tawana down so it wouldn't be banished to the void I opened. We must go after it. That's not a good idea. That new portal could lead anywhere. Hokkaido Mix must be trapped inside. Otherwise, he'd never let us free the boy. You won, Doc. You beat it. Let's go. How can we be certain? If it comes back, we'll be here. Record those new characters. If we have to find Hokkaido Mix again, we'll know where to start. Thank <laughs> you.